In this video, I want to talk about how to deal with impatience, anxiety, as well as insecurities while you're waiting for your manifestations to happen. If you're constantly looking outside in the 3D world and wondering, where is my manifestation? Or if you have questions like, why is this not working? Or if you have any source of doubt that is keeping you, making you feel stuck, this is gonna be a video that's gonna be really helpful for you. And in this video, I'm also gonna show you how to exactly flip your negative thoughts if it's showing up in your mind all the time. So if you're interested in learning about that, stay tuned and let's get started. Welcome back to this video. My name is Rav. I help people with the manifestations as well as the spiritual growth. And if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, the link is down in the description box below. So you can get that kind of guidance which will help you find out your blocks so you can manifest whatever is it that you want faster. If you're having too much impatience while manifesting, if you're just wondering where is it, why is this not working? Or if you're even uh, feeling anxious all the time when you think about your manifestation, and yet you're doing all of your imaginal activities right you're doing your visualizations right and you're doing affirmations and all that kind of stuff but the most important thing people forget is how do you feel about your manifestation at any given point during the entire day i'm not saying you can't feel bad when you think about it maybe once or twice a day but if majority of the time unless you're doing your affirmations or doing your imaginal activities if you're feeling bad when you think about your manifestation that is a good sign that you have a lot of insecurity covering these manifestation or the you know the things that you're trying to manifest and that's gonna make you feel impatient because you're doing all these things here and you don't see a result otherwise if you weren't feeling impatient you would just be going with the flow you probably won't even be watching videos like this or binge watching these videos like this on youtube all the time trust me i've been on this journey and i know what exactly i'm talking about here and i know what it is like to feel insecure and feel impatient all the time when you think about your manifestation and I was the kind of person who used to always be impatient about every single thing. One of the first memories that I have was of manifesting was when I was trying to manifest a computer at my home when I was like really young, probably I was about eight or nine years old. When I first saw a computer a couple of months before that, I was completely blown away. I just could not grasp the idea of like how you could actually put like a CD-ROM inside of a computer and you know all these like videos would start playing on your computer. It was just an insane idea. This was obviously before I knew about conscious manifesting but after pleading to my dad for like months he basically gave up on it and he was like okay. I'm going to get you a computer. So he took me to the store. We ordered the computer right there in front of me. But I was waiting for the computer to arrive. You know, they had given us probably about a month time for delivery because this was back in the day. And also, you know, remember that, guys, I'm not from the United States. I'm from Nepal. And in Nepal, like everything used to take like a long time for, you know, for them to assemble, put things together. Then they would have to deliver it to your place. And the first month went by pretty fast although i was pretty impatient and i used to ask my dad like okay when is it gonna come although like i knew that it was gonna come in a month's time right but even after a month it didn't show up and i started becoming even more and more impatient and i used to ask my dad to call the shop all the time and he used to call next month passed there was still no sign because they said that they were waiting for a part to come from china it took almost another two or three months and by then i had already even given up on this idea of the computer to arrive because i was so disheartened because of this fact and that's when i actually decided that good things never happen for me i can never get what i want so i had started cultivating all these kind of negative limiting beliefs and i basically started giving up on things easily so this was my mindset growing up throughout the rest of the years i would just give up on things that would seem a little harder but what i'm trying to get here is because of impatience i would give up on other things that would seem harder for me like for example in school where i had to have work hard i would just give up on it and i would just fail 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 in relationship if something would seem hard for me i would just become impatient and i would just give up on it eventually i had no sign of persistence on me first of all Plus, because of this impatience, my manifestation would even go farther away from me. I'm saying these things about myself in hopes that you can actually relate to it. But I had to actually fix it. And the way I was able to fix these kind of thoughts inside of my head was before I even got into manifesting or conscious manifesting or anything like that. This was when I was trying to, you know, like work on myself, trying to just improve my mindset and everything like that. I actually stumbled upon cognitive behavioral therapy. And that's, that's where I learned how to like flip my negative thoughts to actually 
see things in a more realistic way. Now, I know in conscious manifesting, we are going even further beyond like trying to imagine what's real because what's real is our imaginal acts, right? But if you're imaginal acts, if you're always, you know, thinking about the worst possible outcomes, you are not imagining right anyway. Because if you're visualizing for, let's say, 15 minutes or even an hour a day and for the rest of the day, if you're just thinking about all the things like why your manifestation can't show up or why you're wondering why your manifestation isn't here, guess what? That's gonna kind of halt your manifestation process if not gonna take it further away from you. So it's really important to, first of all, correct these thoughts and be okay with not having what you want right now. Then after that, you, when you start imagining things, it's gonna be impressed upon your subconscious mind even more easily. One of the techniques that I remember from my earlier days of cognitive behavior therapy, where I was going through like, you know, curing my social anxiety and things like that, was just to be able to dis identify with your thoughts. For example, you might be thinking about your specific person and all of a sudden you start thinking, why does this always happen to me? But before it goes to spiral, you basically have to catch yourself in the process. If you just add a simple phrase, I'm thinking in front of whatever your thought is right now. For example, in this case, I'm thinking right now, why does this always happen to me? And it's kind of disassociating from an identity form into just thinking that, okay, this is just a thought that I'm having rather than I am a person who always get bad things in life or good things can happen to me. The next step is to add another phrase. I noticed that I'm thinking so basically in this step you're bringing more mindfulness into this form so from you know just being identified to the statement completely why does this never happen to me or why does this always happen to me you went into more like trying to realize that this is just these thoughts you're having but when you're adding you're noticing those thoughts it's basically creating more separation in a form of mindfulness right you're noticing what's happening when you do this it's gonna make your thoughts less and less powerful and from then on you can probably bring in your affirmations after that like whatever affirmations that you have instead of going straight into your affirmations trying to like just prove your way, way through the affirmations you might want to add it might be possible for me to manifest my specific person it might be possible for them to be thinking about me so if you start thinking of your manifestation more as a form of possibility. I'm not trying to downplay it guys right here, but this is gonna make your subconscious mind kind of get into the state of more calmness and trying to feel good about your manifestation rather than just like freaking out all the time. Try to add statements like, you know, it might be possible for me to get what I want right now. Because I know in some other videos I talked about just being able to claim everything for yourself right now. But sometimes that doesn't work because if you have a lot of these opposing negative thoughts, it's gonna be hard for anybody, honestly. The more resistance you have towards your manifestation, the more negative stories that you might have when you think about your manifestations, it's gonna be harder for you. So it's better to just flip those negative thoughts by the process that I just said, by just adding, you know, I'm thinking that this might be happening right now. And I noticed that I'm thinking that this is going on right now inside of me, which is gonna create into this point of mindfulness right then you just add like okay this is possible for me just try to ease yourself into believing what's going on in your manifestation process rather than just try to brute your way through if you are the person who feels a lot of impatience when you feel about when you think about your manifestation and trust me guys this has like really really changed my life in a lot of ways for me i had to help myself before i could even like teach anything to others and I teach everything from my personal experience. You know, that, that's the only way I know how to teach, to be honest. This works if you trust yourself more and if you give thoughts more space instead of just like, you know, trying to flip your thoughts by, you know, just like repeating the affirmations all day long. Hope this video was of great help. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. And also if you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me, the link is down in the description box below. Right now I'm offering coaching sessions on sale. Like it's really minimal price. And if you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me, I'll be happy to help you guide through these thoughts, create affirmations for you, and just guide you through the process on what you need to do. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And with that being said, guys, I want to wish you all the very best. Happy manifesting. Goodbye and namaste.